Secrets about boys buried long ago at Boot Hill Cemetery in unmarked graves are now being uncovered. Anthropology researchers from the University of South Florida returned to the panhandle town of Mariana to begin excavation work within the grounds of the shuttered Dozier School for Boys. The research effort is a culmination of nearly two years of field work and investigative methods, including GPR data analysis, allowing them to see below the surface. Over the past year and a half, we've done a lot of ground penetrating radar, and then we did um, field work where we dug trenches to confirm what we thought were grave shots and look at the soil stratigraphy and confirm that that was in fact what we were interpreting the data to be. And it was um, to some of those locations that we went back this time and began this work. USF graduate students trained in archaeology and forensic anthropology worked tediously lifting, sifting, and carving the layers of soil to uncover the human remains. We used uh, hand excavation, we used picks and shovels, and we removed the topsoil and then were able to identify uh, dark stains in the soil that indicated the uh, sh burial shafts that were uh, dug many, many years ago. We then switched to smaller tools, hand tools, uh, to go more carefully down the soil until we reached the level of what was previously the coffin. So far we've uncovered two burials and each one contains a child. They seem to be relatively close in age, about 10 to 13 years old. Uh, one might be slightly younger than that, slightly on the younger side. He was wrapped in a burial shroud. We found shroud pins. And then um, the coffin um, had some very elaborate decorative hardware on it. And so we um, were able to recover all of that. The team uncovered hinges, handles, and nails from the coffins and documented each piece. Wells explains the significance of every artifact collected. The artifacts really tell us a, a different story uh, by looking at the style and design of the different um, handles, of the different kinds of nails, um, and other things that we found, we're able to date the uh, construction of the coffin and narrow down the pool of possibilities of, of who this could be. Researchers estimate there are about 50 boys buried at the site, and many were never issued death certificates. Every bit of evidence that the team can gather to pinpoint the timeline and to make identifications is crucial. Students carefully took measurements, mapping the site and taking photographs. They use a method called block excavation, blocking out sections of human remains that are still intact in the soil, lifting them all out together with the soil. The team will bring the remains back to the anthropology labs at USF. The next steps are really twofold. On the one hand, we'll start analysis of these uh, individuals and put together any information we can based on their biology, send samples off for DNA testing, and then um, at the same time, make plans and preparations to come back for more extended field work. The team from USF received permission from the state to research and excavate the site for one year. Because we're trying to understand who, who's buried here, but also when they were buried, how they were buried, what were the circumstances surrounding their, their lives and their deaths and burials here, we want to get as much information as we can. And so the more careful we are through that process, the more information that we get and can use later.